and welcome back to the latest anime news for the week ending August 21st, 2021. Slightly different setup this time, but we are going to make it work. Starting off with Mamoru Hosoda's new film, Bell, which mm. is doing pretty darn well. Um, uh, on its 36th day in the Japanese box office, uh, it crossed the 5 billion yen mark in ticket sales. That's about 45 million U.S. dollars, which is pretty darn good. Um, can't complain about that. Uh, it opened in July 16th and has topped the box office for three consecutive weekends. This is, uh, it is also, um, uh, was on 38 IMAX screens. This is the first Hosoda film Ooh. on IMAX. Wow. Which is, we know, Goost, uh, Evangelion's, uh, Evangelion 3.0, 1.0's numbers. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> which is pretty cool. Um, G-Kid has already licensed the film. It'll be released in English and Japanese this winter. Mm. So, yeah, Bell is doing well. Um, why do we think that might be? It's all because of Mugen Train. Well, I mean... I, I'm I'm wondering if, it, if it's if it's Mugen Train in the sense of the same thing, like history repeating itself of people thinking, well, nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> that or you know I I would love it if it was the case that people were so enthralled with Mugen Train that it gave them a new respect for the medium. Uh huh. Sure. And that yep. maybe yeah. uh -huh. it's it's kind of pulled people along with it. Be like, well, you know what. If we don't have anything else to do, let's go see an animated film. Let's go see Evangelion. Let's go see mm. Bell. Mm. I think that's a combination there. Uh, well, didn't Bell do well at at um, Cannes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Do well. Con. It got the the longest standing, standing ovation, ovation, like fourteen yeah, minutes or something. Like that. Not the longest, but the longest, but, but, but yeah, pretty yeah, high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think what happened is that Mugen trains a taught American producers that you can make them, um, you don't have to be Disney to uh, uh, make a, a make a uh, animated movie and make millions and billions on it. Mm. And I think that part of it is that, and then <clears throat> contrasted with the fact that an animated movie at, at a respected festival, mm. film festival, did pretty well, and I think there's just like showing options. Okay, so here you have Moving Train, which was like, like really nice adventure kind of thing and people were really into it during COVID and this is what kind of people saw because mm. there really wasn't anything else out there. Mm -hmm. And people actually liked it. So mm. now they're seeing something that, uh, that, is, that is not just commercially attractive but is actually critically attractive mm. and people are going, well, maybe I should watch this. Mm. And maybe, maybe, you know, to John's point, Maybe the American public is going, hey, maybe we should start well, but seeing the, more of these. This has or a, not the American yeah. public. I'm sorry, but I'm just saying, or you know, maybe world public. The, world public. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, but, well, I think there's just a buzz. I think there's hmm. just a buzz of just. I think people want to see it in Japan first before it releases into the world where people hmm. are gonna maybe ride, you know, no pun intended, hmm. literally no pun intended ride that train as mm. as well mm -hmm. and you know because you know with international recognition like with, with the festival mm. and good sales from you know mm -hmm. moving train mm -hmm. then i think people are going to take take another look at their mm. their films a little bit more seriously mm -hmm. yeah um it's also true that um as i understand it like there's not much else um in japanese theaters right now in, in the sense of like Big movies that are exploding. That certainly helps. Um, well, I just thought of a negative. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's probably popular because of the Olympics. Huh. How so? Well, I don't think the Olympics got... Mm, was very much... Oh, well, yeah. Well, well received. Mm -hmm. I think they just want something going, okay, we're, 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 let's walk away. Let's fast mm. walk away from this and then mm -hmm. put this out here. Something more, yeah. a little bit uh, more positive out there. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're awesome. not spending all of our time watching the Olympics, so let's mm -hmm. go watch something. <laughs> yeah. 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 <clears throat> I see that gotcha. too. Yeah. Um, it's interesting. Um, by the way, this is the, uh, this film marks the 10th anniversary of Mora Hosoda's Studio Chizu. Um, it's been around for 10 years now, which is hard to imagine um, that it's been around that long, but it sure has. 
Um, moving right along, speaking of popular anime movies, um, Evangelion 3.0 1.0 launched on Amazon Prime Video, and um, it garnered the highest number of launch day streaming views on Prime Video since the service became available in Japan back in 2015. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, higher than anything else they've ever put on the service in Japan. Um, it debuted August 13th. Um, interestingly, um, this is like the, the full release. So, um, it is available on Amazon Japan in Japanese, French, German, Italian, Brazilian, Portuguese, Peninsular Spanish, Latin American Spanish, Chinese, Hindi, Korean, and English dubs, plus 28 subs. Wow. Damn. Yes. <laughs> because Studio Kara knows what Evangelion is. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> and just, you know, it's like, okay, we're going to make all the dubs, all the subs for everything, everywhere, all the time. Um, so that may have goosed things a little bit of folks saying, "Oh well, I can I can watch it too. I can I can I can VPN right and yeah, find a way yeah. in." Um, but dang, wow. yeah, that's pretty impressive. I thought, I thought it was impressive when they did the the Full Metal Alchemist movie mm. and got the and got the the, the American the, the English dub it done in time. Yeah, they, I showed it at Overtime. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, this is one of the different things about um, the, the the rebuild films is that they have been like. Um, prepping those dubs ahead of time. So they've been like bringing in the, the, the folks and say, okay, you know, we know this is happening, you know, do this dub, do all this kind of stuff. They could, so they could, you know, schedule everything out. Um, but yeah, it's, it's huge. Um, uh, now, Prime Video is also streaming Evo 1.11, 2.22, and 3.33 um, uh, in over 240 countries and territories, including Japan. Um, because so basically the world because basically Anywhere the world has an internet connection exactly. Yeah. Um, so wants us to see <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that's pretty darn cool. Um, and to be clear, um, um, it is available worldwide. Like it's not just available in Japan. The the but the, the the Japanese numbers were the highest ever seen in Japan. So just FYI. So yeah, you can go and watch it now. Like <laughs> wherever you are in the world. Um, so I, I got that, you know, incorrect before in terms of VPN stuff. It's it's available everywhere. Um, yeah. Um, surprised? No. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, it's I, Eva. Uh, yeah. You know? well, mm -hmm. well, I would have expected definitely the core languages. Right, yeah. To have been done. You know, mm -hmm. English, Spanish, yeah, yeah. French, a mm -hmm. German, you know, Russian, whatever. Yeah. But to have that many languages yeah. and just to have it that well prepared mm -hmm. and to, to, you know, shove it to the world and say, here you go. <laughs> yep. And, you know, it, in a way I can understand why it would not be a surprise, but to me mm -hmm. I'm just like why just thinking about the monumental effort just you yeah. know, I mean, to just just to put it out there and get, yeah. have it already. And as you were saying, you know, it's 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 having jelly so no one everyone knows to do this. Mm -hmm. But still it's yeah. mind boggling mm -hmm. to me. I mean just from a just <laughs> the the effort involved. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want the version dubbed into the um um the the language from Galaxy Quest. Um, it was like yeah. Klingon earlier. Well, I was, Klingon. Yeah, Klingon yeah. was cool. Um, for, for those not familiar, um, Galaxy Quest, comedic Star Trek, you know, parody film. Right. The aliens in that talk like this. Um, and one of the audio tracks on Galaxy Quest is the entire language dubbed into that, the entire movie dubbed in that language. <laughs> um <laughs> And they actually oh. have like different people playing That's each. Hilarious. So you know, because so they have like different voices for each actor. Oh, my great! God. <laughs> Someone got paid to do yes. that. <laughs> Somebody earned their ramen that day. Right? Exactly. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it's it's wonderful. Um, but yeah. I'm doing Shakespeare in the Park in 15 minutes. What do we have to do now? Just yell <laughs> for this many seconds. Okay, cool. Yeah, pretty much. 
Uh, so, yeah, Evo will not die. Also, full props to ANN for continuing the trend. They described this as the new version of the, quote, final, end quote, Evangelion film. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> sure. Um, this is kind of an interesting one. Um, uh, Shueisha has a, um, a service called Manga Plus, which is you know, an online manga uh, uh, viewing service uh, for a bunch of their stuff. One Piece, they have a whole bunch of, of uh, manga on there. They have dropped region restrictions for all languages. Um, so it used to be, you know, you, you, you wanted it in Portuguese, you had to be in port, you know, port, Portuguese right. territories and so forth. Um, and uh, you can now select your choice of language, English, Spanish, Thai, Brazilian, Portuguese, Indonesian, and Russian, um, and you just get whatever manga is available in those languages. Now, now granted, they have, um, um, not everything is translated into every language. So, for example, right. there are only six manga in Russian on the service, as an example, um, but 67 in Spanish. Uh, hmm. So, wow. yeah, exactly. Um, and they also said they plan to add more content in, in new languages, so that's, that's continuing on. But it's kind of interesting to have a service like this. Um, um, and by the way, Shueisha publishes Weekly Shonen Jump, so pretty big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I have a, I have a, I have a question that yeah. I, I don't, I'm not sure I've really ever asked before. Mm. W- um, why do you have region lock? Like, why would you make somebody in Portugal get it in Portugal in Portuguese and not like so somebody's on vacation in Canada and it's like I want to read a manga in Portuguese in Canada because somebody else has licensed that manga in Portugal okay. for a Portuguese publication okay yeah typically okay. so how does this affect those people that have their that's the licenses? question that's that's the interesting thing is that presumably Shueisha has made a deal you know they've the revised the contract or something say hey by the way we're just gonna do this um, and maybe there's compensation involved. I don't know, um, but yeah, it's 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 a pretty it's non-trivial. <laughs> like I wonder. Yeah. I wonder if they hit the end of the of the licensing term. So like, Probably. you know, ten well, years we have this thing. Right. The contract now comes to a close, and we're not renewing it. Wait, but, but the issue is like all of those contracts are in different places, right? Yeah. Because they, they didn't all start at the same time. So that's mm-hmm. the other question is, you know, who knows? And it could be that just, uh, you know, enough of them have transpired. Or it's also possible they've been planning this for a while. And right. so for the last seven years, they've been introducing those clauses into their contracts. Now, finally, all the contracts have rolled over to this. Yeah, and, and they, they can do it. turned it on. And yeah. Like, Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that kind of makes more sense. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty cool. That, that is that is now an option again. Yeah. Kind of tough if you are a, you know, if if you run a manga service in, you know, um, Russia, and now by the way you can just go to the Manga Plus app, and get all of it there. It's like, well, oh, okay. Um, hope it works out from them, but who knows? Still pretty cool. Um, also this week. A few items we just wanted to mention in passing. Um, speaking of the final Evangelion movie, um, Amazon Prime Video is streaming a two-part documentary b- between Hideaki Anno and Hitoshi Matsumoto with English subtitles worldwide, um, as well as the two-part documentary series called Hideaki Anno, The Final Challenge of Evangelion. <laughs> um and that uh, is it's with just an hour and a half of him going. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> don't think uh, it's done yet. Yeah, uh, and that's with English. I have stuff. some improvements in mind. Uh, yes, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, the let me just double check. Um, so, and some of these are and or the um, uh, uh, that latter one is an extended version of an NHK documentary that they did. Um, and let's see here. Do 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 do. Um, the story on Anon does not list how long those are, which I would like that. Um, but yeah, um, it should be quite interesting. Um, the description says, uh, the documentary attempts to capture why master filmmaker Hayao Miyazaki describes Anno as one who sheds blood for his films. So we'll see how that goes. I've heard it somewhat the opposite (laughs) of, uh, 
uh, folks saying, yeah, so uh, Anno didn't show up today. <laughs> just, he's he's yeah. anemic from shedding all that blood. Apparently, yes, clearly. Uh, so, don't know. Um, so, yeah, the, uh, uh, that is a f- uh, four-year-long documentary that they spent with Anno. Uh, wow. on, on the process of doing 3.0, 1.0. So, yeah. So if you're interested in, in the EVA, as nobody is, um, that would be an interesting thing. And no, I don't think anyone thinks Evan Gunn is actually going to end. But I think this is, I do think this is probably the end of, um, the end of Anno's direct involvement for quite a while, if nothing else. I think he's going to like, okay, I said what I need to say. You know, I, I don't imagine an Ev- Evangelion 5.0 anytime soon. Um, uh, Sentai Filmworks has announced they have licensed the most recent Lupin the Third TV anime. So Lupin the Third Part Six will Ooh. be uh, released wow. soon. <clears throat> yep, exactly. Nice. Um, also, Young Champion Retsu Magazine has revealed a new manga spinoff titled Lupin the Third Neighbor World Princess, which they have hinted is an isekai. <laughs> So in case you thought that the isekai genre was over, uh, no, not quite, uh, not quite. Uh, so I gotta admit, they got me. Like I'm curious. I want to see what they're going. I'm, I'm wondering. Yeah. You know, I, <laughs> you know, the space opera. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll see. Um, the star job. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I am Lupin. Oh, no. <laughs> that's basically Lupin Third Green versus Red, though. Kind of, oh, sort of. Nice. Um, uh, it's a movie where Lupin meets himself. Um, they have a fantastic yeah. time, though. Yeah, they, they they do actually. Um, very interesting film. It's about kind of what Lupin is. They laugh, they cry, they fell in love. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, Memorial Oshi is coming. Uh, I'm sorry, Ghost in the Shell is coming to the U.S. again. The original Memorial Oshi film is getting some IMAX screenings. In... Oh my God! Okay, wow. I, yeah. I just, I'm sorry. I'm just like, oh Damn. yeah, yeah. <laughs> please. Uh, both... I'm taking a vacation and I'm just yep. watching the, you know, multiple screenings. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! Yes. IMAX. Please. Good night in the morning, man. Yes, please. Yep. Wow. September seventeenth. Uh, that is coming to Japan and the U.S. IMAX theaters. The 4K remaster Whoa. of that film, which is good because, like, I know the, the first time I saw Ghost in the Shell was on. It was not a great transfer. <laughs> Ooh, that's so, a yeah. Friday. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yep. Um, well, I have to look into what my local theaters are doing. There you <laughs> go. Totally. Well, local IMAX. That's Black Spot. Yeah, it's like you a mean, long yeah, drive. It's, it's, <laughs> local. Um, and the uh, local group, as in like solar system, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's just several light years away. That's fine. Um, finally, a follow up to a story from a little while ago. Um, Shonen Jump Plus had a competition for the next new uh, sort of manga uh, breakout star that is complete, and there is a winner, Naoki Fujita, for his manga Beat and Motion. Woo-hoo. Um, Go on. Yeah. Yeah, good for him. He won about forty-five thousand dollars U.S. Um, equivalent, um, uh, as well as the opportunity to serialize his manga on Shonen Jump Plus, and there'll be a compiled book volume of his manga, and Netflix will stream an anime adaptation. Yeah, uh, as part of the deal. Um, now, granted, that could be fifteen minutes long, right? Like, they, they, no one's okay. saying it's going to be a movie or TV, right? It, it could just be a little short thing. Still, really cool. Um, his uh, partner and manga editor from Shueisha was uh, Shihei Rin, who's the editor of Chainsaw Man and Spy Family. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So he knows what he's doing. Um, and uh, you can go on, on ANN um, and uh, check through. Uh, and the nice thing is, if you click through, they have posted his manga on the official website. You can just kind of scroll through and skim through. It's, it's obviously in Japanese. Um, you can kind of see his art. It's kind of sketchy, like it, it's not full um, right. you know, detailed art, but it, it, it looks really nice. Like he clearly has the skills. Cool. So congratulations, Naoki Fujita, um, for winning that. Exactly. Good job. Good on you. Good Sweet on. job, man. 
Yeah. Um, you know, when you said it doesn't necessarily this whole series, it could be very short. All that came to mind instantly was Bambi versus Godzilla. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh man, don't do, don't do that to him. <laughs> that would be like so incredibly 